time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And it's right down there. Hit the little bell while you're at it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. you guys i just got a screener just finished it for enola holmes which comes out on netflix september 23rd drops on september 23rd and let me tell you it was a delight so this movie has tons of big names tons enola who's played by the millie bobby brown she was in the stranger things series then it's got her mother eudoria is it in there and that's helen bonham connor hello i mean talk about big names then we even have Sherlock Holmes, who is play, played by Henry Canville. And another one, you know, another Holmes up in here, Mycroft Holmes, who is played by Sam Claffin. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of him. I'm going to have to look him up. If you haven't guessed, this is about the Holmes family. Enola Holmes, Sherlock Holmes, Mycroft Holmes, Adora Holmes. It's about the Holmes family. The most famous one, of course, is Sherlock Holmes. But this one's just centered around his little sister, Enola. You know, Adora raised her daughter, Enola, kind of, alone in this house and and one day you know she just disappeared and uh, Deodora just disappeared left her daughter uh, Enola alone the brothers Sherlock and Mycroft come kind of you know take care of things even Sherlock maybe search for the mom and stuff like that but really be kind of a, a caretaker for Enola which she doesn't like because I'm gonna tell you the one brother Mycroft he's kind of a a jerk. <laughs> he is. He's not very nice and he wants to send her off to this boarding school which Enola's like no way so she takes off in the middle of the night to go search for her mother. In the process of this you know her sneaking away she runs into a boy who is also on the run and it makes things kind of difficult. She, she searched for her mom and she, she helped this boy and all the way you know the, the brothers are searching for her. What you got the top detective searching for her Sherlock. There's a real underlining message in this because it, uh, it all takes place in this time period kind of during the women's suffrage and the mom's kind of like a leader in this suffrage so you you'll get a really meaningful message of just what women are going through and and women of that time how they're kind of held back and to break out and not be like this traditional woman and make a uh, your voice heard and and be something in the world and make a difference in the world I love the message of this movie. It made me tear up so many times. Just not because it was sad, but just the 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 inspiration of the movie and the message and, and the empowerment of women. The performances were amazing. I mean, you got Helen Bonham Carter. I mean, what does she do that isn't great? <laughs> I can't name a movie that I saw her performance and it was like she didn't do very good. Of course, she's great. Millie um, Bobby Brown. She's you know, from Stranger Things. She does a great job in this and really became the character. You know, I wasn't seeing, you know, Millie, you know, I wasn't seeing Millie as, you know, 11 from Stranger Things. Let me tell you, even Henry Canville impressed me. Yes, I mean, he can be somewhat of a stale actor in things. He plays Superman great, I think, because Superman's just kind of emotionless and he just has that, you know, comes into a role and just kind of, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know, The Witcher, kind of the same and thing. And him and Sherlock, I mean, I was impressed. I was impressed because first when I saw him in the Sherlock, I was like, how is he really going to do a Sherlock? Oh, but I, I, I enjoyed him in the role. I saw him as a Sherlock, a, a kind of younger Sherlock, and I really took to him. And this is over two hours long, about two hours, 10 minutes, two hours, 15 minutes, something like that, which can be long for a movie these days, especially if it's not full of action. And this one did at the beginning drag a little bit for me when we were just getting into the story and trying to get the character development and and figure out what's going on but once really got into a story about 30 minutes in I was into it I was into it and I couldn't take my eyes off of it I thought it was a wonderful movie I thought you know the story was great the acting was great the plot was great. It's based off of a book series there's six books so this one could have a sequel hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that's how much I liked it I give it a four out of five that's, I thought it was worth the watch. I think when it comes out, everyone's going to so join. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, if if you're excited to see it, comment below. Uh, and if you're watching this and had already seen it, let me know what you think. Till next time. Mwah.